Okay, we're up to step four of the Vito Design Pattern Catalog Submission Process. And in order to submit this sample design pattern, you have to fill out ten items in a traditional catalog, traditional design pattern catalog. And this is item number four. It specifies the structure of the Vito Design Pattern. So the Vito Design Pattern is our sample design pattern. It shows how the Vito pattern works. And this is the structure section, structure item for the design pattern catalog, and this is the fourth item you have to fill out. The structure usually gives the structure of the design pattern and shows how it works with various objects and interfaces and so forth, and that the structure is usually done with a diagram, and a diagram will show how the veto design pattern works. As a matter of fact, you've already seen that diagram, and that diagram looks like this. This is the structure of the veto design pattern, and in the core code, you check for a veto. You do that by sending a message through various links, link one, link two, link three. Any of those links can veto your request, and so at the end of the process, you take a look at the results. Have you had a veto? If so, then you then your process is finished. Otherwise. You can continue. That's the idea. You check for a veto, and you go through the various veto-bearing links. And if they veto you, then you have, then your process has had it. Otherwise, you're allowed to go on and keep going with the process. And so that is what the structure item looks like in the design pattern catalog. So you have the veto design pattern, and this is the structure item. The structure is the, as as I said, the structure is the way things work, the overall design of the design pattern, and that is usually given as a schematic, just as you see here. In this case, you have check for a veto, and it goes to the various links, link one, link two, link three, and then process the results. So as you see, this, this section is usually pretty short. It just describes schematically how the design pattern works. Okay, and that's it for the structure of the design pattern and you're going to have to specify how your design pattern works schematically. If you don't, you don't have to do it with a graphical diagram. You can actually just describe it. Your, if it's easier for you, you can describe how your design pattern works, the objects it works with, the classes it works with, and so forth. And that that is also acceptable. But usually what you see in this step is a design pattern is described schematically, much as we see here. So the veto design pattern happens to be one you can describe easily using a graphic, and so that's what we've done. And that completes step number four, item number four, in the design pattern catalog submission process. I'm going to go on next to step number five, and as you see, that was the structure. Fairly easy to work with. Just have to do a diagram of what your, of what your actual design pattern looks like.